Uh, my name is Eva Silverstein and I'm at Stanford University. So one of the things I study is the origin of the universe, the history of the universe, and it's a wonderful subject because we, for one thing, have a lot of observational input about it these days through things like the Simons Observatory and other similar observational projects. The pattern of light that we see is sensitive to fluctuations in the density in the universe that originated from, from much earlier. And that gives us a way to test various theories and me mechanisms for the origin of structure in the universe, uh, the leading one being the theory of inflation, which uh, we study from all points of view, including the uh, effective quantum field theory description of the process and also uh, aspects of it that are actually sensitive to something called quantum gravity. So string theory is our, is our best developed candidate for a theory of quantum gravity that, that really combines quantum mechanics and gravity and, and by the way also particle physics uh, in, a, in a coherent and well-defined way. And this theory has, you know, a lot going for it. It has computed the number of states of black holes in um, certain cases. So we need a quantum theory of gravity to count black hole states. And string theory provided such a count. That's one of the many ways that it has succeeded as a theory of quantum gravity without us actually understanding it completely. But there are these very concrete indications that we're on the right track. We look at the problem in string theory. And string theory with its, its various components suggested new ways of modeling physical systems, including the early universe, that just hadn't been considered in other ways. And that actually led us to new types of observational si signatures that could be, could be searched for. All of the structure in the universe that we see came from what's called the quantum uncertainty principle. The fact that physical objects cannot sit still. You can't know their position and their momentum simultaneously. That fact, the fact that everything fluctuates at some irreducible level, is an extremely successful theory of the origin of all structure in the universe. It's an amazing thing. I loved science as soon as I encountered it. Um, as, a, as a school child, mathematics came first somehow, um, but as, as soon as I got into high school and started learning about physical science, it, it uh, intrigued me enormously. I, I was exposed to relativity theory, the special theory of relativity, at a young and impressionable age, and that was wonderful. There are too many to choose from, so no. I, I, it's important that there are m many different styles in science and they come together to produce the knowledge that we have and picking out one out of, out of that uh, richness in the history of science and current, among current scientists is not something that makes sense to me.